In this video we're going to learn how to clone a repository from online but before we do we're going to just recap the previous video so in the previous video we learned that uh, how to go ahead and create the multiple branches okay and um, if we go to overview click on branches merged Okay, so if you remember, uh, master branch was first created uh, and then pushed onto the uh, repo online. Then the developer one had created branch one, uh, written all its changes, and then developer two had created the branch two out of master and written all its changes. And then finally, at one point, they both decided to push their changes and merge it to master. Developer one uh, merged their change to master, uh, and developer two merge the branch to to the master okay and in this way master then contained both these changes and then finally when they got the next set of tasks then we, they leave this these two branches they will start and creating a new branch let's say branch 1.1 or something else and the developer 2 will create branch 2.2 uh, or something else and then finally again they will work on their tasks new task and then finally merge their individual tasks to master when they want to sh show that to the client okay it is a good practice to go ahead and um, create um, uh, an issue okay so if you go to setting um, all right so go to settings then go to issue tracker click on private issue tracker okay save it and then you'll see that you will have this tab available on the left hand side which says issues create an issue so let's say uh, you know developer one need to needs to go ahead and uh, perform a certain task like create a slider so let's say create slider you can write uh, any description that you want you can select whom you want to assign it to okay and let's just create the issue okay so you've got the slug create slider okay now what you can do is uh, let's say there's another uh, developer who has been given this particular task uh, you can always uh, you know uh, add him to the particular team project so you know you can go over here you can click on projects you can you know create a new project from here and then invite that person into it all the developers will be working on it okay so let's see so let's go back to testing <clears throat> okay so there's a new developer who's been given a task that uh, you know the team is working on the testing project and he's been given a task uh, an issue has been created for him which is to uh, you know, create a slider okay so what he's going to do is he will go ahead and create a new folder uh, which he can name it as um, testing okay so let's say obviously he might not he will not have this testing uh, you know project so let's go ahead and um, Sorry, one moment. So what he's going to do is going to clone that repository first. Okay, so in order for you to clone it, you will go over here and select HTTPS, copy this, and he'll go into the folder where he has all his projects, and he will say git clone. And probably he can name it as uh, probably test. Yeah, you can name this project as test. Okay. Cool. All right. So what has happened now is that uh, everything that is inside of the master branch uh, on the testing project has been cloned into 
the test directory. So if you go to test directory, ls, you can see that all of these files are there, uh, which were there online. So he has pulled everything from online. And you can check cat index.php. You can see all of these changes are there. Yes. Okay. Now he's been given the task that he needs to go ahead and um, create a slider. Okay, so he's going to create a new branch. He's, he's not going to disturb the original branch. So what he can do is he can do git branch. So he can create a new branch with the name of create slider. So it's better to use the same name or same slug uh, for the issue uh, because that's what he wants to do. So create slider is the slug. So you can use create slider so what will happen is that um, a new branch will be created out of the master branch which has everything inside of it into the create slider uh, repo so you can say git branch and now you have the master branch and the create slider branch okay so he's a new developer okay he doesn't have all the other branches he only has the master he's created a new branch uh, which is create slider now he's going to go to git checkout so he's going to go into that branch, create slider, and if you check ls, you can see there are all the files are there. Now, okay, now his job is to go ahead and create a slider. So he goes ahead and creates a file, let's say, um, touch slider dot php. And he goes ahead and writes some content inside of it. Nano slider dot php. He says, let's say this is the slider page created in branch, which is create slider branch. Okay. Cool. Okay. So he's done that. And obviously we remember that we need to commit all of these changes. So git add slider.php. Remember that we are on a create slider branch, so only the changes that we make inside of the slider branch will be committed. So then we do git status. And then we do git commit m create slider dot php file and add content to it. Okay, he's done that, right? So he's created a slider dot php file, let's put the content inside that. And he's gone ahead and commented those changes. Now all he has to do is push this online. Okay, so all it's going to do is git push origin master. No, not master because we're going to we are inside of the create slider file. So sorry, create slider, slider branch slider, and this is going to be pushed to online under the testing branch. Okay, so let's try that. And you can see, sure enough, now you have four branches. So there's another developer who has come in, and this is the active slide, uh, sorry, active branch, which is create slider. If you click on it, go to source code, select create, create slider branch, and sure enough, you have the slider.php, which has got all of the content inside of it. Okay. So this developer has done his work. Let's say he's done his work. You know, he's created the slider. He's created this file, which is responsible for showing the slider and everything. Okay, so he's done his job. He goes ahead and tells the other two developers uh, that were working on the project who were resting at this time, let's say. They were not doing anything. Uh, he goes ahead and tells them, you know what? I've completed my task. He goes to issue, clicks on it, writes a comment that, you know, I have done it and I'm going to comment it and merge it to the original one. So what he's going to do is click on comment, go over here 
and it's going to merge the create slider uh, branch which is basically a copy of the master branch but it is the only thing which is different is slider.php file and with some content in it so it's going to go ahead and merge that they all three come to an agreement okay that's fine you go ahead and merge your changes in your changes look good and you can go ahead and merge all those changes into the uh, master branch okay so he goes ahead and do git checkout master okay once he goes there he uses the git merge command and that's the create slider branch that's the branch name so he uses the command git merge the branch name he wants to merge into master there'll be no changes made to create slider uh, branch but whatever changes are there which is different and does not exist in master branch will be added to the master branch so the changes we are expecting that the master branch should now have uh, this particular file which is slider.php which wasn't there yeah slider.php is not present in the master branch and we are expecting that when these two are merged then it should have the slider.php as well okay let's try that and sure enough you can see wall file changed create mod slider.php if i refresh the page sure enough you can see that now uh, not this sorry um, okay one moment click on that go to merged click on master source okay one moment of course he's the reason why it's not showing over here in the master branch is because he has gone ahead and merged these two branches locally but he hasn't really pushed these changes okay so if you check ls locally yes you will have the slider.php you won't have it online because you haven't pushed it so all you have to do is say git push origin master and sure enough if you click on this it's been pushed online you refresh the page okay one moment yep you click on four branches this is the active master branch click on source click on master and you can see sure enough you've got the slider.php and you've got this line of code inside of that okay so going back to a recap as you can see that earlier that particular branch was showing here but it's no longer part of the active branches because now it's part of merge branches so developer one with the branch one has done his job merged it to the master branch once he has done his job developer two has done his job merged his branch to master branch and now another developer who comes in who had a task who had an issue to create a slider he went he goes ahead and creates a branch called clear create slider works on it speak to everybody and goes ahead and merges his line of codes to master so you can see that how easy the uh, you know git system is you know there are multiple developers who are working on the same project collaborating from different places without having to worry about uh, you know who is doing what uh, because all of the information they will be able to see over here all the comments that have been done to that project is clearly visible over here right you can see all of the comments all of the different changes have been showing over here they can always go back to any particular comment and see what was inside of it what was added what was removed all of that information will be there okay so i hope you like the video and in the next video we're going to discuss how to go ahead and tag uh, a particular comment okay see you then